Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys all about softbox lighting. So let's get started. First of all, softbox lighting will require you to enable global illumination in your render settings. So head up to your render settings. Uh, I know you can't see this window, but head up to your render settings. Uh, enable global illumination. And also set your, under the output tab, set your width to 1920 and your height to 1080p. There we go. And um, under the global illumination, uh, also set the primary method to iridians cache and the secondary method to light mapping. And maximum depth under light mapping, set it to 32. And um, also go to samples and set it to custom sample count. And set the sample count to, uh, we'll set it to 128. Okay, now we're going to actually get to making the softbox. So uh, we've got a new material here already. But first, we're going to start by, we're going to make a little scene. So we're just going to add um, that. I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to add a few more segments to that cube. That's 64. There you go. It looks more like a cube now. All right. <clears throat> so now uh, we're going to bring that size up a bit. So uh, softbox lighting is where essentially we take a, a plane and we apply a material that has uh, illumination to it. So let's just go ahead and scale this up a bit. There we go. Now we'll texture it all in a bit. But first, let's start by... Okay, so we're going to make it... Actually, with this material right here, we're going to apply it to the cube. We're going to make it reflective. So click on the material. Let's go to reflectance, add... Uh, we'll go for a Beckman reflection and bring down the strength a bit. And right here, we'll set it to a not with GI. Average, we'll set it. Okay, so actually go, no, go to color. Um, we'll make it a, we'll make it a cyanish color, my favorite color. There we go. Reflectance, let's set this to, okay, so we've got a good preview here. So basic. Set this to a. Um, we're gonna set the preview mode to uh, what's it called? Not GI. The reflectance. We're probably gonna want to set it to. Oh. Beckman, and we're probably gonna set it to additive. There we go. Reflection strength. Turn that down a bit. There we go. Now it's got a like reflective material more now. I like that material. Now we're gonna apply. Okay, so we got that onto the. Sphere, good, good, that's applied there. So now, let's make a new material. Actually, we'll call this one. We'll call it Sphere. Oh, I spelt it wrong. One sec. I'll just do it here. Ah. Sphere. There we go. And then we're going to go... We're going to make a new material. We're going to call this one Floor. And we'll just make this a white material. Oops. Yeah, apply to the floor. So now, new material. And we're going to do the soft box now. So, uh, soft box. So, uh, softbox lighting, it's pretty simple. It, it can get pretty advanced um, with advanced light ups, set, uh, lighting setups, but let's just do it simply. So, uh, we're going to go to the material here and enable luminance. Now, under the luminance tab, well, that's really all you need to do. Um, luminance, <coughs> and you are done. But, we still need to change some settings in the illumination. So, if your softbox is like your main light, like you don't have any other light source, or no, um, kind of like... If this is one of your main lights that's going to be lighting up the scene the most, you want to enable GI area light, which is, um, well, that's what we're doing, right? We only have one thing to light it all up. So we're doing that. Also, the strength, um, I usually turn that up a bit. I usually turn that up to about 500%. Well, depending on your scene, right? I'm going to turn it up to 500 here because it's our only light source and we do want it to be bright. Now, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're, we're going to render this. And we'll see, we'll see the result. Oh, oh, we didn't apply the softbox. Oops, there we go. Now we've applied the softbox. <laughs> Let's uh, render it up. All right. So it looks pretty good, actually. The lighting is really smooth, and I like it. <clears throat> but the softbox, it's still there, okay? What if you don't want to see that? Maybe you don't want to see... Like, if you're using this softbox, like, next to a window in an interior scene, keep it as it is. Trust me, it'll look fine having white coming through the window, just white light outside the window. But if you're doing a scene like this, you don't want that. You don't want to see that. So go to basic, and you want to enable transparency. Uh, under transparency, it, no, just don't change anything. You're good. 
Now you can see here, we'll make sure that it's well in the scene. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> as you can see, Oh, I rendered it not in that tab. Oops. There we go. Actually, we may need to. Um, sorry, need to go to the plane here and uh, basic uh, transparency. We need to disable the color. Can we do that? No. For some reason, um, I forgot how to make it invisible. That sucks. Um, it worked before. Before I know you could make it um, transparent and it would work. I don't know why that's not working now, but. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the last thing. So we're going to uh, add a floor as well. Oh. Yeah, I'll move it down a bit. And apply the floor object to the floor. Now, what should what we should be getting is a nice little effect where... Oh, I rendered that in the wrong tab. Oops. I keep rendering it in the picture viewer, but I know you guys can't see the picture viewer, so... We'll just go ahead and render that. I'll just take a moment. And there we go, looking all right. So uh, yeah, and of course you can adjust wherever you want it. We'll add a camera actually. Now also, uh, I'll teach you guys some pretty good render settings. So what you can do is, uh, oh here, sorry. Actually, I'm gonna bring this, so I set this up. Some good render settings. If you go to your render settings, you can also go to render physical and uh, sampling quality too high. Adaptive uh, anti-aliasing, if you can't change that. Um, and yeah, so set your render settings to physical, set your renderer to, set your renderer to physical, uh, set your sampling quality to high, go to advanced under the physical tab, ray tracing engine, uh, physical. You can do Embry if you want, um, if you just want a fast render. And you can do depth of field stuff, global illumination. Also, I recommend you enable ambient occlusion. It's pretty good. Uh, global illumination under the irradiance cache tab. You can also enable smoothing to 60% and color refinement to 90%. These are just some optimal settings that I use most of the time just because it um, it really helps the quality. If you want to as well, if this is your final render, turn the sample count up to 512 or even 1024 if you really want to. And you'll get some really good good quality. Keep rendering this to the picture viewer on uh, here. Render it here. This may take a while. But yeah, I'll just do my outro. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys want any tutorials, if you want to request any tutorials, just request them in the dis in the comment section because um, then I know what you guys want and I'll, I'll, I'll make it happen. So um yeah if you want to you can watch the next like 20 seconds of this rendering uh, or you can leave anyway i will see you guys later uh can i show the render i'll show it a bit you get the point looks pretty good and uh, yeah see you guys later bye